In this video, learn what ENTPs can learn from the INFJ personality type and conversely, what INFJ can learn from the ENTP personality type. In this video, we're taking a look at introverted feeling, a function that is said to be quite weak and quite undeveloped and generally unconscious in the ENTP mind. Now, INFJs and ENTPs share one thing in common, and that is that their introverted feeling is low in their stack in the eight function model. So, so, because of that, I think that these two types serve a fair contrast against one another. What I've found is that INFJs, due to their introverted feeling, <laughs> tend to struggle with being too hard on themselves. INFJs are notorious for having really high expectations on the self and their own identity. They feel a need and a desire to be perfect and amazing in every single regard and to show no moral or ethical flaws or problems. INFJs also deal really poorly with being misunderstood by other people and having their identity misunderstood or questioned. To question INFJs values is to <laughs> reveal an INFJs deepest insecurity. Contrastingly, the ENTP, due to their introverted feeling, tends to struggle with the opposite problem, and that is that ENTPs go too easy on themselves. That means ENTPs are notorious for lacking judgment towards the self. ENTPs seem to be and to have an anything goes mentality. They can do no wrong and there is nothing wrong that can be done. There is no deeper ambition or goal to the ENTP personality type, no plan that has to be followed, no standards that have to be met. Everyone should just be easy on themselves. Everyone should just accept themselves. Everyone should just be nice to themselves. The ENTP tends to react FI judgment and the INFJ tends to <laughs> struggle under impossible standards of self-worth. So the ENTP tends to have an inflated sense of self-worth in the sense that, well, I'm perfect just the way I am and everything is great and uh, there is no need for me to ever do anything differently than what I do today. While the INFJ tends to feel like everything is wrong with me and I have to change everything and nothing is good and I have to be basically Jesus Christ <laughs> reborn on earth. So these two types can learn a lot from one another and that's for the ENTP to learn that it's okay to have standards and it's okay to put some pressure on yourself and you should always try to be better than who you were yesterday. ENTPs that learn that you can apply a healthy amount of judgment towards yourself also are able to be more successful. If you can recognize as an ENTP that your values and your identity does hold purpose and worth and that you need a degree of judgment to determine who you should be and what you don't want to be can improve on themselves more. Contrastingly, INFJs tend to benefit from learning from the ENTP to be more self-accepting. If INFJs can look to the ENTP example and see uh, that, hey, you can be accepting and forgiving of yourself and that it, it's okay to make mistakes and to be sometimes hypocritical or to do things that, yeah, are generally not good to do. Uh, similarly, the ENTP can learn that, hey, I don't die from trying to sometimes employ healthy degrees of self-criticism and I can be self-critical and I can be critical of other people as well as myself and that is okay. So, knowing these things and knowing how to switch between these two things is learning to develop new scripts. The more scripts you can run in yourself, the more different values you can hold in yourself at the same time, the more smart you can think and the more adaptable and cognitively flexible you become. People that can apply a healthy dose of judgment can manage situations that people without a healthy dose of self-judgment cannot. People that have and can maintain a healthy dose of self-judgment can stay strong in certain situations that people who are overly self-critical cannot. So to know which script to run in which situation, when to be self-judging and when to be self-accepting, when to be forgiving and when to be putting on a little bit more pressure, these kind of people tend to do better. INFJs tend to see themselves as diamonds that have to be cut and polished and uh, hardened. ENTPs tend to see themselves as basically walking doses of awesomeness incorporated. Basically, super awesome machines of splendor. <laughs> so, ENTPs have a healthy example that I think can inspire a lot of people. If other people knew how to accept and look to themselves the way ENTPs do, I think 
the world would be a little bit less insecure. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.